Hey guys, Dr. Timothy Lineski with Lake Cumberland Rheumatology coming to you again on the road, Tennessee. Uh, if this is a bumpy video, you have no one to blame but the Department of Transportation in this fine state of uh, Tennessee. Kentucky, we know that there wouldn't be any bumps in the road. Today I want to talk to you about fibromyalgia medications and just give a brief summary of some of these. There are three FDA approved medicines for fibromyalgia. Uh, number one is Lyrica, number two is Savella, number three is Cymbalta. These are the three medicines that are most commonly used for fibromyalgia, and I'll tell you a little bit about each one of these. And then in the next video, I'll talk to you about the medicines that aren't FDA approved for fibromyalgia, but you know, are commonly prescribed uh, off-label, period. Uh, when it comes to Lyrica, Lyrica is a medicine that we describe as working on nerve endings. It's FDA approved for diabetic neuropathy also. What I try to tell my patients is, is that when the fibromyalgia causes a redness, when people touch you, we want to turn that into a pink. So we want to dial down the intensity. It's not a medicine to eliminate pain, but to make the pain more bearable. Lyrica uh, is a medicine that you have to titrate up to get onto the medicine and down when you're coming off of the medicine. I generally like to start with a 75 milligram three times a day prescription. And I'll tell people to use 75 milligrams at nighttime for the first three to five days, then start adding one during the day for three to five days, then another Lyrica during the day for three to five days. As you tolerate that over the month, Generally, we will increase it from 75 milligrams, depending on your response, up to the tolerated or FDA approved 150 milligrams three times a day or a total of 450 milligrams. Now, when it comes to Lyrica, obviously this is going to be limited in regard to all the side effects that you can have with the medicine. I'll just name the top ones that we have our major concerns with. Number one is weight gain, which all of my patients are concerned about. In general, what I talk to you about is, is that you have to check your weight when you're on this medicine, especially as you're titrating. Weight gain is seen on the higher doses of the medicine. So if you're somebody who's using a low dose, generally you're not going to have significant weight gain. But about 7% of people will gain about 5 to 7% of their weight. Now that can be significant if you're somebody who's 200 pounds. So if you're checking your weight every week and you notice that you've increased your weight by 2 pounds or more within a week, that is concerning. What I tell people is, is that I'd rather you have gained two to four pounds and stop the medicine because you've been paying attention than, oh, Dr. Lineski, I went on this medicine and I disappeared from your office for six months and I've gained 20 or 30 pounds. So um, weight gain is a one concern. The second concern is that when you start this medicine, it can cause people to feel um, lethargic or have somnolence. I tell people it makes you feel like a zombie. So um, that is improved whenever you use low doses, start your doses at night, and titrate slowly. Uh, swelling or edema in the lower extremities or weight retention can be significant in Lyrica. Again, weight associated or uh, uh, milligram or dose associated. And when it comes to that, we uh, uh, generally, when you stop the medicine, you'll have a resolution of the edema. It's not necessarily that it's causing heart failure, it's, it's strictly a, a property of the uh, medication itself causing fluid retention. Um, in addition, the Cymbalta and the Savella, I'll talk to you about them together. They're both dual uptake inhibitors, which mean that they work on serotonin, which is important for depression. So if you're depressed, this can be one that can help you with depression and with pain. So, they work on norepinephrine. Norepinephrine is theorized to work in the pain uh, processing centers for fibromyalgia patients. So um, it's kind of a two bird with one stone situation. Obviously, any side effects are the same that can be seen with other um, antidepressant medicines, which are generally only working on serotonin. Effexor is one that works on norepinephrine also, but it's not FDA approved for fibromyalgia pain. Um, again, those are medicines that you want to titrate up slowly and uh, come off slowly. Cymbalta is generally well tolerated. Dryness, uh, sometimes vivid dreams can be side effects. And when it comes to Savella, one of the more common ones is GI intolerance. Um, again, 
uh, the slower you are with the titration and um, the better off you're going to be. When it comes to any of these medicines that work on uh, uh, norepinephrine or, or uh, work on serotonin, um, the first week or two that you're on the medicine, it definitely can affect uh, kind of how you feel. I tell people it takes about a week to two weeks to kind of um, calm down or to equilibrium, to for your mind to come to an equilibrium with these uh, blockages of these medicines and changes in the level in the brain. So some people say, I don't feel like myself, I don't, uh, I couldn't think straight. As a general rule, if you do that for two weeks, it'll improve. So uh, I know this was not an exhausting amount of information today, but it's just to give you a basic foundation of the three medicines that are FDA approved. Thank you very much for your time, and uh, PITT, let's go pit.